today's video, I'm out here touring the Glen. Now the Glen is a champion home. It's out here at Factory Select Homes in Lugolf, South Carolina. It's a beautiful three bedroom, two bath. I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get into the video. All right, let's get outside so you can start this tour from the outside of the home. I love starting here so you can get a good idea of what the house looks like from the outside first. As you can see, there's a built-in front porch. Listen, <clears throat> this home is super cute, you guys. So as you're looking around the house, imagine how bright and sunny it is. Look at all the windows. Look at the transom windows look at imagine just how light and airy and bright the inside of the house is going to be that's the purpose of looking at the outside first because i'm telling you if you can imagine how beautiful the house is going to be just from looking at the outside you know that it's going to be wonderful from the inside so go ahead and take a look at the exterior imagine it with brick or concrete underpinning imagine it with the steps and decks on it You've got a side door and a front door on this house. Lots of windows, lots of transom windows, just a lot of, of natural light coming in. I absolutely love it. I can see a bigger porch on this house but if you were going with just the porch as it is it's the perfect little size for two rocking chairs with a table in between or for three or four chairs lined up out front like I could see myself sitting on the porch rocking looking at the kids playing in the neighborhood watching the cars go by people watching it's the perfect little porch I'm not complaining at all about this porch and I love the two big windows on the front of the house so from inside you can also see what's going on on the outside now as you enter the home you have this open space it opens up to your living room dining room and your kitchen we're going to explore every room i want you to see just how much space you have i'm not sure if the camera really does this room justice but so it's a nice big open area and again you've got lots of windows in the living room alone you have six windows four big windows and two transom windows so it was a very sunny day um what i liked about the light coming in the house and again it's it's where your house is positioned and you know what it's facing but this gives you a good idea of just how bright and sunny your house is going to be from all of these windows not to mention all the windows in the dining room and the kitchen but just in the living room look how much window um, light you're getting you've got pretty good size furniture in this room so imagine with the size of your furniture and how many pieces you have how you could position this room you could turn it uh, with the back to the kitchen your back to the kitchen or everything facing the kitchen and still be okay i love 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 the fact that it's open because i like an open space but also you have that little wall that slightly slightly has the dining room so it's a little division as well between someone coming in the front door and seeing all of the things going on in the house i'm walking around to give you a good view of each area you could actually divide that room if you like if as you see there's a little sitting area by the front door um that could kind of separate the entry from the living room space but it's a nice size room really lovely so let's take one more spin around and then we'll explore the dining room and the kitchen you know as i'm editing the video i can kind of see what everybody means about looking down uh, the camera that I'm using to film these houses is a really small camera and it could be way up above me or right at uh, my face length and I think the view when I'm holding it 
really high makes it look like you're looking down on everything that's a lesson learned i i didn't come to this place to um with the intention of using this camera but my regular vlogging camera broke and i could have used my phone on the gimbal but i didn't have the piece that the phone sits in so we work with what we have um it it shot pretty good quality video but it is kind of high up in the air that's why it looks so close to the ceiling but you get a nice view overview of each room including this dining room as you can see you have some more light natural light coming in in this dining room and um makes it nice and bright um you've also got a window in the kitchen but you've got two i think two windows in the dining room as well so these two rooms are a really nice size room i love that you have this table extension off of this huge island this is a great entertaining home because of how the home is positioned and how much space you have for seating you even have additional space in the dining room to extend that table if it had um, a way to ex if it had an extender and put additional chairs around the dining room you've got storage space in the island you've got outlets in the island the island is a dark color in contrast to the white cabinets i always love that and you also have open shelving on this side of the island so really really nice i love uh, that you can put seating on either side i love that the kids or your family can eat while you're standing at the island prepping food really nice uh, feature and this is actually the first time i've seen an island that big with an extension on it so really lovely again the cabinets are white the appliances in this particular home are stainless steel, but I can see black in here as well. Um, really nice. You've got can lighting throughout this house. You have a built-in microwave and pantry space and also pantry space around where your refrigerator would go, which is really nice, especially when you don't have an actual pantry. So you've got a lot of storage space in this kitchen. And that is always a nice feature. I love the separation. A lot of times you'll see this additional storage space is one big opening, but I love that they have shelves in here so that you can really uh, organize your food really well when you have the space to do so. One thing I appreciate about the utility room is that it has a door so you could close it off. You've got counter space to fold your clothes. You've got storage space to store additional items in here. There's your electric box by the back door. And behind the door is where you would put your washer and dryer. Well, actually next to that counter space is where you would put your washer and dryer. So i really like that because that door can open all the way or you can keep it closed it's not going to uh interfere with the washer and dryer at all it'll the washer and dryer actually sit next to that cabinet space so really nice so i'm stepping back so you can actually see how much additional room you have in there you also have this opening into the kitchen which helps with ventilation because if you actually accidentally scored something you can uh, crack that back door let the smoke and the smell out and it doesn't get trapped right so really nice love it love it love it this is the utility room you guys uh let's go back and take a look at the rest of the house
so because of the way the house is set up all the bedrooms are on the same side down this hallway is where you'll find each room this first room to the right is actually a linen closet love the fact that you have this additional space for storage items uh, that's always a plus when you get into a smaller square footage is to have lots of storage space i know the last house i toured which was a one bedroom didn't really have storage space but this home really shows us how storage is supposed to be done now you have your bat bedrooms and bathrooms so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at bedroom number one right here to the right and let you see how the size of these bedrooms bedroom number one is a nice size bedroom it does have a standard closet in it but overall not a bad size for the bedroom these bedrooms have carpet um but i love the size of the bedroom you could put whatever size bedroom you bed in here that you choose whether it's a full or a queen you could put bunk beds in here really nice well done and actually you can walk into this closet i wouldn't mind putting um additional shelving on either side to maximize the space i think that's what's missing in most mobile homes that we look at it just doesn't have enough rack space in the closet but that's an easy fix you can ask for that before the home is even delivered or leaves a lot if you're buying a lot model across the hall we have bedroom number two another nice size bedroom uh this bedroom is right across the hall but sits kind of cat a corner um but i love the positioning of the bedrooms in this home especially with them being uh, on the same side of the house I think they did a great job um, with the layout of this home in spite of that this is one of those houses that goes like straight back and so if that's something that you're looking for or if that's something that you don't mind it's not a deal breaker I think this is the perfect layout again the same type closet in here this one may be more of a standard closet and the last one um, a little more of a walk-in uh, but a nice size standard closet nonetheless we have the uh the secondary bathroom it has a tub shower combo in here my favorite feature of this bathroom is the fact that it has this additional storage on the side so you have this open shelving you can stack up toilet paper towels whatever you like um on that side and be easy to reach you don't have to worry about even putting in a toilet uh paper roll holder in here because you have space to store the things that you need you have this uh counter space that sits a little higher than the standard so that could be for toiletries and whatnot really nice i think they did a good job with this bathroom And next we have the master. This is really a nice size master. The camera's really not doing it any justice. It's a really nice size master. I want to say this may be the size of our master. Uh, really good job on this master. It has can lighting in here. I would have loved to seen uh, a, a ceiling fan in this room. But again, that's a quick fix. It's something that they could do on the lot before the home even leaves uh the home to be the lot to be delivered if you choose the lot model or something that you could easily ask for it when you sit down to plan out what you want your house to look like two big windows in here bringing in lots of natural light i know a lot of people question when i say two big windows but sometimes the windows in these manufactured homes are larger than the standard size window here's the master bath you've got uh a place for decor items above the shelving you've got lots of storage in here again nice job with the storage the Glen did a really nice job with the storage features in this home you've got three places um, here for additional storage in addition to all of your storage area under the sink really good love the fact that you've got uh, shelving space in each section 
of this storage area i love the fact that you have drawers as well as cabinet space under your two sinks um love the fact that you have shutters in here that you can open or close depending on what you're doing in the bathroom at that time and this window actually opens so really nice job love it i always love a window in the bathroom and a, some of these manufactured homes just don't have windows in the bathroom especially near the toilet area you're gonna always need ventilation so for me if i was purchasing a, another home you know I, that would be a deal breaker they have a rain shower shower head in this huge shower i love it they have a transom window in here too so it's nice and bright just a huge space you know the camera doesn't do it justice you can put a twin mattress down in that shower it's, it's really big and you have uh, privacy in this little uh toilet room area it doesn't have a door but it does lend to a lot of privacy behind the uh door to the bathroom you also have your master closet don't ask me why i turned around like that but that's your master lots of space in there i probably put an additional rack halfway down on one of the sides just so that i can maximize even more space in this room family again this tour has been the glen the glen is a three bedroom two bath it's 1760 square feet it's a champion home out here at Factory Select Homes in Lugolf, South Carolina. The price, home only price of this home is $123,993. So if you're interested in this home, all the information I have will be down in the description box below.